Well, I've got a doozy for you guys behind me. I can't wait to show you this. This is a ton of fun. If your first time here at the channel, welcome to Weld Tech Designs. I'm your crazy host, Jeremy. I'm the one, the mastermind behind all this craziness and whatnot that we do here, like lifting ambulances, right? Like, who lifts an ambulance? Well, of course, if you're watching this, probably figured out a lot of people actually lift ambulances. So why not show you this killer four-wheel drive ambulance that I have behind me? Um, except it's missing one thing and that's a front axle. But hey, you know, minor details, you know? So anyways, guys, let's jump into this thing. I mean, you can't help but notice the color of this thing. It's amazing. I think if this was mine, I would just call it money. Because it's like the color of money. This thing is just looks killer. I can't wait to see it done. Um, so there will probably be a part two to this video as when these guys get this fully done on the inside I can't wait to see it, but we're just jibber jabbering, you know, so you know how I do it So let's jump into this thing first You're gonna notice just a giant set of 35 inch tires. I mean who doesn't want a set of BFGs on their Ambulance, I mean especially 35s and these are going to be wrapped in these Alcoa wheels. So those look really nice. We powder coated all the Alcoa wheels to keep it all black. We didn't want any chrome on this thing. That was completely unnecessary. Now in the front of this guys, I want to tell you there's something, this isn't just a normal Baja grocery getter kit due to the overall weight of this. So this is more of like our class C RV lift kits and this is going to be a six inch RV kit on the front of this so that way if you decide you want to do this, you know what to look for on our website or when you call us. So we're going to have a giant massive set of coils in there. We've also added our Fox shocks. My helicopter's here, guys. I got to go. See ya. I wish. I can only dream. So Fox shocks in the front of this with reservoirs. You know that we love doing those. So it's gonna have our bent beams on there and then it also is gonna have our extended radius arms. And that's how you may be wondering how we fit these massive 35s in there is because we push that all really far forward with those radius arms and brackets. And if you want to know how to install 35s on your 40 econoline line, I'm gonna throw up a card right there. You can come back to it, watch that video and that'll teach you all the little tricks to get 35s on your van if you're installing it at home. So you'll notice one thing about this, and this is why I wanted to make sure that this was clear. You can see that this still does have a front sway bar on there. And the reason being is this is an RV kit. To finish it off in the front, we've also added our Fox steering stabilizer just for one big, awesome, giant lift on what I'm calling money. So um, yeah, let's go check out the back of this thing. So you can see that there was some skirting on here. That's all from the factory. Um, that has all been taken off because that got powder coated black and the customer is gonna be installing all of that stuff themselves. Um, but you can see back here on the back, we do have these 35s on here as well. Again, we powder coated all the chrome Alcoa wheels black. Now I will tell you something is that on the back of these, we did have to run a wheel spacer to get these massive tires not to rub. So that was definitely something that was necessary in the rear. You can also see we've added a giant set of leaf springs to the rear and then another set of box shocks in the back of this thing, which is just, this thing's rad. I just, I can't wait to see it done. So obviously we did not stop with just a lift kit. Like what would this be without some WeldTech bumpers, especially the back bumper, which hopefully blows your mind and I get a ton of comments on, hopefully you guys like it, we'll see. Let's jump to the front, let's check that out and then we'll show you the back. So the front is pretty straightforward. This is gonna be our tube winch bumper. Um, you guys have seen this on a lot of other builds. What you haven't seen on this bumper is when you get under here and notice this giant reinforced trailer hitch that we did on the receiver on the, the. What you didn't notice is this giant uh, reinforced trailer hitch that we did on the front of this. So just in case they want to put something really heavy on the front of it, like a motorcycle, uh, this is all welded on where our standard one just bolts onto the front of that. So that's going to be really nice if they're wanting to put anything heavy on there. 
you're still going to be able to run a big winch in there which is always going to be a plus and then we also have your hooks for your shackles um, or you know recovery points if you need it so just a small little baby light bar for the front of this and just know that any of our winch bumpers that you can do you can kind of configure the lights any way that you would like typically you also see we're running like the venom lights here in the sides and even the htx is up on top you know that we love our light force lights and this is not one of them but just got to kind of show you guys what's going on i mean this guy's got lights everywhere on here which is pretty cool because there is lights everywhere and i know that there's going to be even more up on the top so i don't know i wonder maybe we will have to go to the desert together and see whose is brighter you know mine or his you know, guys, that's what we do. Who's is bigger, brighter? I don't know. So, I guess we're going to the back of this thing because I'll show you. You guys want to see the inside? Come on, Austin, let's get in here. Let's check this thing out. We never do tours of ambulances inside it and you can just hear my annoying voice echoing. So, a ton of room in here. You can see me being six foot 11. I can totally stand up in here no problem i sometimes exaggerate by a foot or so um, what's cool about this is you're going to have a ton of storage already built in so it will be neat to show you guys this as far as the inside of the build and then what they end up doing to it and we can kind of go back and forth between them but a lot of storage on the inside and outside of this got some like pull-up bars here you know getting our workout on we're getting buff yeah Oh wait, I'm supposed to take my feet off the ground, huh? Eh, minor technicality. Let's go check out this back bumper. All right guys, so this could probably be a video of its own and we will probably do that. So if you're first time at your channel, hey, on our channel, the channel, a channel, welcome to Well Tech Designs. I'm your host, Jeremy. You guys wanted the whole kitchen, so we decided, hell, why not pack it into a bumper? Or at least a lot of it. So. I know for my own personal use of RVs, I never have enough storage in my RV. And the one big thing that I hated storing in my RV was going to be my barbecue. Because I always gotta find a place for it. It always seems to be bouncing around and be getting damaged. And I did not like that. So the whole thing, what we did here was did a barbecue tray so this is gonna be we're just gonna walk through this whole thing and have some fun so you can see here that that's gonna slide out and this thing is brand new so it's got to get some little love into it so you can see we're running the blackstone griddle on this so now you have two options on this barbecue you can run it with just the little propane tanks that will go right here or you can see we also have a spot for a larger propane tank so if you want to run the small propane tanks, you could do so here and use this space for something else. Maybe you want to put a gas can, maybe you want to put water jugs, endless opportunities of things that you can put on the side of this. It just never ends. So what's nice about this is yes, you can hang out back behind your coach and you can be cooking. Um, you're going to have a secondary compartment. This is going to have a screen. So if you want to keep your grilling utensils, whatever you want to put in there, you can do that there. It's got two magnetic uh, latches, which is going to hold it closed, but then the pin is really going to be securing it closed. So that's cool. And I mean, maybe the coolest thing is just the little badge on it. I don't know. So really kind of neat. Now, the thing is, is if you're barbecuing, do you really want to be hanging out behind your rv and the answer is probably no not really because like the party's like over here with the fedex guy you know like this is where all the cool stuff's happening so anyways let's show you what this thing does so now i can swing this around so let's say i just want it to be sideways i'm not wanting to block my camp you know whatever it may be okay cool now i'm hanging out behind it you know the party's going on here there's going to be an awning coming off the side of this guys you got to picture it all with me as we're out in the middle of nowhere and you have this all going on which is going to be great 
you have a secondary top you can even have another box on there if you want to get completely crazy so we're keep going we're going but maybe it starts to rain and you're like well damn it i don't want to be out in the rain so so it starts to rain and now i've rotated it all the way to the side and now i'm underneath the awning you know you got to picture it guys this is what i picture this is my craziness so i'm hanging out on the side of my rv hanging out grilling having a good time i got my friends this is where it's at so something a little bit different you know just creating so up on the top you have two options you could definitely do more storage you can see that we've done additional hooks so that if you are going to put you know a tote or water or anything up on top of this you're going to be able to tie it down which is always going to be a plus so and then right here i wish i had one right now i wish i had maybe a cold corona maybe someone will bring me one and i could just pop the top with a built-in bottle opener here on the side of it and there's actually these on both sides of this so if it's closed you know you can still get in there and open it up so something really cool but wait a second we're not done yet so if we're going to be barbecuing you know that you're going to need a table and so we have our aluminum table mount back here in the back of this so that i can easily take my table and fold it out now that lifts up too but you can see all of these things that i'm normally this is big. I'm trying to find a spot for it inside the RV. There's nowhere to put it. It sucks being inside. It rattles around. None of the compartments are big enough. Well, there you go. Easily mount it to the back of any of your boxes, your spare tire carriers. Hell, you can even put this thing on the roof. It's got pins, it locks in. This thing will even go underneath. There's so many places we can put this. And we're not even done yet, so let's keep going. Now we have access to the back of our, our ambulance in this case. So typically, if you were going to do this kind of setup on an RV, you're not gonna have the rear door. So here's the thing. The reason that one, this is gonna swing out of the way because we want it in camp. On other RVs, you're going to have a ladder on one side of the back or the other. So now with this being open, it's going to give you access to the ladder now we move to the pass driver side swing so again more options so a lot of you are wanting to run a spare tire so this would give you the ability to run a spare tire on this swing this particular customer wanted to go with the double boxes so we're going to have two boxes on the back of this that are going to open up and give it a ton of storage inside for gear so again You always need more room now you may be wondering what these two crazy racks are for up here and if you're gonna be out in the middle of nowhere you need your bicycles so this is actually a bike rack up on the top so he'll be able to also carry at least two bikes on the top of that which I mean it's got everything so and then this swing as well you're going to see that that is going to swing out of the way and you have all kinds of room. What's nice about this is if you wanted to run a set of max tracks, uh, maybe you wanna run something else on the back of this, you still have the ability to have even more storage behind this. You're gonna see now you have a nice wide open area. So if you're gonna want both doors all the way open, you're going to be able to do that. There's nothing about the bumper that is intruding the getting in or getting out. The biggest downfall of this, of the money RV is the step to get in. Maybe we need another step to like, that would just like go on it for temporary, you know, use. But I don't know guys, what do you think? That's a ton of stuff that I, kind of shown you i know that this bumper was 
kind of a lot going on. So if you have questions on any of this, we're gonna pause this because I gotta close. Well, that's about it for this craziness that we've created on the back of this ambulance. And we are looking forward to having this be a new product that is available on any of your guys' RVs, ambulances, whatever it may be. Of course, we love building craziness here at Weld Tech Designs. I would really love to know what you think. There is a lot going on here in this bumper. I'm sure that I missed something. I know it, I always do. But um, I hope you guys dig it. Comment below, let me know what you guys think of not only the bumper, but let me know what you guys think about the money ambulance. So that's all I got. Make sure you guys have smashed that subscribe button and give them this video a big thumbs up. I'm Jeremy from Wild Tech Designs and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.